Hi everyone! If you didn't know me already, my name is Anna and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you everything I bought last weekend when I was in Los Angeles. For those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, last weekend I was in LA to attend the annual Anastasia Beverly Hills Halloween party in West Hollywood. It was absolutely a mind-blowing experience. I think this has been one of like the biggest milestones in like my beauty makeup Instagram YouTuber kind of career. Um, it was so much fun and it was so nice meeting a whole lot of people. I met Jeffree Star, I met Gabriel Zamora, I met Nikita Dragon, I met Anastasia, I met Norvina, I met some followers of mine and some people I follow on Instagram, which was so cool to like, get to hang out and party with them. So it has just been an amazing experience. A fellow YouTuber and dear friend of my Coco Centeno joined me along on this journey. I got to bring a plus one so I invited her to join me. Um, I'll have her YouTube and Instagram linked down below. And her being a fellow beauty and shopping lover, we did a whole lot of makeup shopping. So I figured why not do a makeup haul from this. She also said to me like she's more into like the YouTube games. She told me like Anna you have to make a makeup haul from this. So I took her advice up on this one so therefore I am going to be sharing with you everything that I bought. So this video is going to be really really long because we bought so much makeup. So let's just get into it. So on Thursday night we arrived in Los Angeles and on Friday morning we had an appointment at NYX Professional Makeup. We there met some people, we shot some Instagram stories which was so crazy sitting back in the Uber to our hotel and seeing on the NYX Cosmetics Instagram me swatching lipsticks, sitting there with Coco, being all cute and all, which was just absolutely mind-blowing to have experienced that. Thank you so much NYX Professional Makeup for inviting us and having us there. And what is really cool about the NYX Professional Makeup headquarters is that they have like a store in their complex, which is like for employees and for guests, where you can shop makeup with 50% off. <sighs> like that had me shook. So we just walked around there and I picked up a couple of products which I figured even though uh, we did get 50% off, I still wanted to share with you guys because I did buy it. I just got a lot of money saved and off from the products, but yeah. So first thing, I never ever buy perfume for myself always because I think it's too expensive. So I always use like the testers, which I get when I buy makeup and I buy a lot of makeup. So I do have a lot of testers. So I'm always stuck on perfume, but only like really small ones. But I once got like a larger sample of the YSL Black Opium Eau de Parfum, which is amazing. I highly encourage you to go out and check it out somewhere. Um, but I really wanted it, but it was really expensive. But here it was with 50% off. So I guess why not just get it for myself so I bought some perfume which I'm really really happy with because I never ever do and I just feel like I kind of spoiled myself there and next up I got the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in 05 Fair Clear this is one of those powders which aren't available in Europe and Coco said to me that they're really really good so I got this one for myself to try out with that I also bought the Maybelline Fit Me Madame Poreless Foundation in 110 Porcelain this was the lightest color which they had which I hope will fit me um fit me hey. <laughs> um but i'm not really sure so i would have to check it out still because they didn't have a tester there i didn't see it so i just figured why not get the lightest color and if it doesn't work i can always give it away to a friend or family and then last makeup product i got the lancome paris dual finishing highlighter this was on display and i was absolutely shocked with this highlighter I always feel that like uh, more high-end brands like Lancome, Dior, Chanel, YSL, they always market to a more mature audience because that is where most of the money is, of course. But a more mature audience doesn't want a very bright highlighter because it shows off more skin texture and when you age, your skin texture becomes more prominent. And that is why they're always like highlighters, which are kind of like, it's cute, but it's not like really for me but this one you guys this is sickening let me just show you one swipe wow what is that that is so pretty right it is sickening blinding like oh i love it so much i think it's so cute it is like a dual finish so you can use it either wet or dry which I think is really cool and I got this in the color 01 shimmering buff so if you have a chance somewhere to pick this one up I highly recommend it because I'm already so in love with it um, and you'll be seeing a lot more of this baby for sure and behind the counter there was the sweetest sweetest employer ever 
Um, he gifted us a lot of stuff which I figured I would also share because yeah, it's like, it's fun, <laughs> I guess. Um, if you don't want to see them like this, just let me know, you guys. Um, but I figured watching makeup is nice, so yeah. First up, this is like really funny because that morning we were getting ready and Coco asked me, do you have an eyelash curler? And I was like, no, no, I actually never really use this anymore and I don't know why. And we got an eyelash curler, <laughs> that was like so funny. Uh, this is from Lancome. Um, I, for some reason, stopped using them a while ago and I'm not really sure why because now when I do like false lashes, I always have to like kind of pinch them together with my fingers and that dirties up my fingers with the mascara and I have to clean my fingers again. So an eyelash curler, it's like really really handy. I'm really happy with it. Next up here I have the Lancome Grandiose Mascara. This is like a really cute one. This has like a rose in it. And I actually used to own this mascara when I was younger. Uh, I remember so good that for my 15th birthday my little brother got me this one. And it's a really really good mascara. Um, I just kind of stopped using them because I found other ones which I also liked. And I really like switching up products. And I like using products for my Instagram and YouTube which are like somewhat more available for other people. I do know I use like a lot of high end brands but I think that Lancome is like really something which is really high and extremely up there but this one is really good and I, I also highly recommend it and I'm really happy to have it again. Then next up I got the Kiehl's Damaging Repairing and Rehydrating Conditioner. He must have seen the ends of my hair because yeah, there's not much in there anymore from bleaching it so much to get blonde hair. Um, and I also tested this out already when I was in the hotel and it's really good. It smells really nice. And Kiehl products are always like really interesting to me. I don't really buy them because they're kind of expensive and I don't really like buying like caring things and everything. I would rather just buy makeup, you know. Um, but I'm really happy with this and I really like it for my dead ends. <laughs> We also got a Essie nail polish. This is in the color uh, Wicked, which is kind of like a really dark red, kind of like more towards the black nail polish, but with really red undertones. So I think this is really cool as well. And then last up, I got this Redkin uh, One United Multi Benefit Treatment. This is kind of like a spray which you put on your hair when it's in the shower and then you kind of like rinse it out. I haven't tested it out yet, so. I'm curious. So that is everything which I got at the NYX Professional Makeup Headquarters or you should say NYX, NYX, NYX Professional Makeup. Um, so thank you so much again you guys for having us Carlos. You were absolutely amazing and you're the sweetest. Thank you so much. And I'm really happy with the new makeup products you guys. Really really happy. So next up the shopping began at Sephora. Being from Europe, Sephora is like one of the holy grails, it is like the mothership for all Instagrammers and for all beauty lovers, so I was so happy to be at a real Sephora for the first time in my life. So I went in. Let me just tell you that. I went in. So let's just get it started. First off, this palette has kind of like been looking at me kind of sexy for a long while, but I always was like kind of unsure about it if I should spend the money on it. But now, figuring I was on a holiday, I saved money for it, I did get it. So I got the Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice Eyeshadow Palette, which I'm so excited about. Um, like, I have seen it once in store, which is like a Sephora in a, like, a department store. And they also carry Fenty uh, for, like, a short time now. Um, so I already kind of swatched it then, but I was, like, kind of unsure if I should, like, spend my money on it. But I finally did and I'm really happy with it. So you guys are going to be seeing a lot of this one on my Instagram. Definitely. And it's so pretty. Ooh. I'm so in love with these colors, you guys. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. And also especially with like this one color, which is called um, Marrakush. It looks so pretty. I can't wait to play with it. And I'm so happy it also like survived the flight back because it was like a 14 hour flight. But it managed to pull through like everything did. I'm so happy about it. <laughs> so next up, um, I signed up as like a Sephora member or something. Like the guy told me it was free and I could choose something from like a range of products. I was like, yeah, why not? So I gave my email and my name and my birthday and that's it. And I got to choose this one. This is like a kind of like a duo set from the Glam Glow Hello Sexy. It has the Super Mud and the Glow Starter. I'm a really big fan of the Super Mud, so that is why I chose it because it helped a lot with my acne. I also got some patches back again. I don't know if this is like a real thing, but I read it somewhere. I don't want to say it. <laughs> I read somewhere that when European people go to America and they eat their food, that we get acne because there are like other hormones or higher level of hormones in like the meat. 
we can't handle it and we can't process it and that is why we tend to get more acne when we're visiting America. I don't know if it's true, don't quote me on it, but I thought it was really interesting and I did get some more acne patches so I blame you Taco Bell and in and out Next up I got restocked on the Fenty Beauty Mesh Stick in Amber. I also used this one today. I'm a big big fan of this contouring product. This and the Fawn contour cream uh, thingy from Anastasia Beverly Hills are like the only two cream products I can contour with because everything else always tends to get too orange and it doesn't mix well with my skin tone but if you are as pale as I am and you're looking for something to cream contour with I highly recommend this product because it's so good Next up, some more Fenty. I got the uh, Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint in Unveil, which is like the more brownish color. Um, they had like the red, the black one, the more peachy one, and this brown one on display. And I just really want to get it one. I knew that I would never wear the black liquid lip and the red liquid lip. Um, so it was kind of like choosing between the more peachy one and the brown one. I didn't think that the peachy one would complement my skin tone the best. So that is why I got the more brown color and I'm really happy with it because I really like the packaging of this and it looks just so stunning. I will swatch this one for you guys so you can just kind of see. This is not even like a liquid lipstick. This is a decorative piece. This is so pretty. I want this like in my Christmas tree. It's I also really like the applicator with this. I think it will be very precise. And that is the color. I think that that is like one of the colors which I would also like wear in daily life. And that is kind of like the makeup which I tend to like buy nowadays. Is it something that I'm going to be using more than just for Instagram? Like the colors which I wouldn't really wear out. And I think this one would be really great. It's kind of running on my hand though. I'm really curious how it will apply on the lips, but you will also be seeing this one back in a tutorial. Okay, so next up I got the uh, Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I didn't really plan on buying this one, but when we were in Sephora we ran into two fellow Dutchies who were also attending the Anastasia Beverly Hills Halloween party. And they both got this one, they uh, told me that they tested it out on the back of their hands and that it was absolutely amazing. So Coco and I both got this one. Because we were like, yeah, we need to have it, done. <laughs> like, I was so easily influenced by other people to buy makeup. But I tested it on the back of my head and it did look really, really good. So I'm really curious to try this one out because I do struggle with some enlarged pores on around, like, my nose, like this area right here. It could use some, so I'm really curious. And you will also be seeing this in, like, a makeup tutorial and... I will let you guys know how it worked out for me. Then next up I got the uh, Fenty Beauty Killer What Freestyle Highlighting Duo in Lighting Dust and Crystal or Fire Crystal. I want to say crystal clear. I didn't have a Fenty Beauty highlighter. I was really curious about it, needed to get one. So that is why I got this one. Um, I'm really happy that I finally got one just because I think that Fenty is like such a cool brand. And I already swatched this one just because I had to. I was so happy with it. And this is what it looks like. I think it's really pretty. And I hope that it will work with my skin tone. I swatched it and I kind of think it did. But like, oof, that's crazy. I love buying highlighters so much. Can you see it? So, yeah, you see those two stripes here. Oh, not that. Uh, there. That's really pretty. I'm really happy with that. So again, we'll be seeing this in the tutorial. I think that I'm going to be making like a whole Fenty Beauty tutorial for like my Instagram because I got some now. Next up, I got two of these Shuei uh, long wearing lip toppers. One in Skinny Dip and one in Central Fest. Um, I know that Coco used these and these were at like the counter as like these little sample size ones and I was really curious about it and she highly recommended them and I'm so influential, influential, influential. I just buy a lot of stuff which people tell me is good. That's just it. <laughs> so these are what they look like. Really pretty. This one is Sandra Pay, and this one is the other one. Or yeah, oh yeah. This one is Skinny Dip, and this one is Sandra Pay. Today I am wearing Skinny Dip over my liquid lip, which you will also see in a sec. But these are really pretty, they're kind of small and uh, I need to dip in like 8 times to get them like fully coated onto my lips. Which can be like because of the applicator or it can be because of like just the product, maybe just because it's like a mini size. I don't really know, but that is something that I kind of like dislike about this product, just so that you guys know. But they are really pretty, you can't deny that. Like 
on top of like a liquid lipstick they have coconut oil in them and I do tend to struggle a lot with like really dry lips so for that they're really really nice and they wear good throughout the whole day but just applying them is like a small issue for me but just to get everything out there for you guys then next up I got the Hourglass uh, Seamless Finish Foundation Stick in the color cream uh, so for this product I wanted it for the longest time but I was scared of ordering it online just because like ordering it online the color can turn out wrong and that would be such a shame so therefore I figured why not just buy it once I get the chance to and luckily I did get the chance um, I was kind of like struggling between the lightest color and the second lightest color I got the second lightest color which I think would be like the best match for me because having it too light is also not like the best but it is really pretty it's like a really full coverage type of foundation stick the packaging looks so cool I'm so happy to finally have it just because I've been eyeballing this product for the longest time and this is what it looks like I will not use it already because like just seeing the color doesn't really yeah matter but I will use it in a tutorial for sure and then last up from Sephora, I got the Cover FX Power Play Concealer in the color and fair one. Didn't really plan on buying this product, didn't even know this product existed. But uh, Paula and I were just both kind of, or Coco and I were just kind of like walking around. She was swatching this one on like the back of her hand and I was like, that is so full coverage. Let me get one too. So I got this one. Um, I really hope that it works out well because I do struggle a lot with having it like creasing underneath my eyes but you can only know that once you really test it underneath your eyes so i will also use it in tutorial and let you guys know what i think of it i'm so happy with having been able to finally go to sephora like it was just the coolest experience to me because i'm so into makeup products you guys and getting to get these Oof. so then next up we went to ulta Ulta is also like one of those stores which we don't have in Europe. We don't have it at all. So like shade tape, good luck getting that one honey here because like the shipping from Tarte is $18 and then you still have to pay like taxes and fees to get it into Europe. So that is an expensive ass concealer if you ask me. So that is why I was also really really excited to go to Ulta and I picked up some more products there as well which I'm going to be sharing with you. So first off which I got are these Adele Wispies, this is a 5 pack, I already used one of these. Um, I really like wearing like these wispy lashes whenever I have like a family event or something which I kind of want to look glammed up for but not too much. Wispies are your best friend. Some people wear them like every day as well, They're, they they can be, I just don't really have the time for it in the morning. Then next up I got restocked on my shape tape because I love that concealer so much that I had to get some more so I bought two. These are in the color Fair. I am also using it today. It is such a good concealer you guys. Such a good concealer. But that is why I stacked on these two. Then next up we saw some Colourpop. Ooh. Um, I got some of these Super Shock Shadows. This is the one in... A Telepathy, telepathy. Having to pronounce all of these names is so hard. But these ones always look like really cute. I've seen them a lot online. So having one now is so cool. Oh, can you see it here? Yeah. Ooh, that is so pretty. I really like kind of like these greeny eyeshadows, and like even like putting your finger on this. This is so creamy. This is so weird. I thought that they would be like more like shadows, but this. Ooh, this is crazy and I believe like from the top of my head these were only like five dollars or something so that is really really nice I also got it in the color I think this one's called, yeah lady bird I want to say lady something else but let me just go ahead and swatch this one for you guys too Whoa, this is so pretty um there like my swatching game is like Kim K level I'm so bad but that is what it looks like. I think that this would like be a really great color to just have it like every day. When you need to do your makeup really quickly. Just pop this on the lid. Some mascara and you're done. So I figured why not pick that one up for that. And also like in the inner corner to like intensify any look. I think this one would be really really pretty. And then I also got the one in the color Amaze. Just because I can't have myself and I wanted to get more. I don't really know why I got this color. Just yeah for the heck of it. This is like a more uh, dark brown color, kind of like a copper one. Let me just see. There. <sighs> that pigmentation, you guys, just for like only $5. That is crazy. Oh, and I just smashed into it with my nail. 
<laughs> so those are all of the ColourPop uh, eyeshadows which I got. They're so amazing. I want every one of them right now just because I'm so shocked about the pigmentation. I don't know why I wasn't this shocked in the store. I already had swatch more in my hand so maybe it didn't really caught my attention that much because I had already really so much going on. But these are really really pretty you guys. So next up I also got a ultra glossy lip from Colourpop. I don't know what it is for me. I've been getting really into lip glosses and like lip toppers. I just really like them right. Can I have sticky full lips? But this is what it looks like. It is kind of like a bronzy color. It's really cute. Like that. It's like the worst swatch ever again. Oh, like the tip is really weird. And that's normal again. Yay. It's kind of like a bronzy topper for your lips. Yeah. Just one on one. That's it. <laughs> and then next up, I went to Dose of Colors, which I was so excited about, you guys. The Friend Occasion palette from Katie and Desi. I cannot express to you guys how excited I am about this palette. This palette has been looking at me for the longest time. I have wanted it for the longest time. And I finally have it. And I'm so happy with it. The packaging already. Like, look at this. This is crazy. It's so pretty. And the inside of it as well. The shadows. They look absolutely amazing, you guys. I can't wait to start playing with this, making tutorial with this and everything. I think that this is such a pretty palette. Like if I would ever be blessed enough to make a palette, this would be kind of like what it looks like. These colors are just so good. They all complement each other so well. You can make the most natural look and the most smoky glamour look with it. You can play with the colors. I really, really like this. Um, I don't want to swatch it yet because I want to keep it pretty for my tutorial. So yeah, you can like watch swatches from other people, you know, good luck. <laughs> But I am so excited about this one. You are definitely, definitely be going to be seeing a tutorial with this one. Like, let me also know, you guys, if you want, like, any YouTube reviews on the products which I bought. Because I'm always, like, so, like, quick with my Instagram tutorials. But not really with YouTube. Because, I don't know why. I'm just really more into Instagram. But I also really like sitting down and really talking to you guys. So let me know if you want to review on something. I will try and do my best. Yeah. <laughs> And then last up, I also got two of these Dose of Colors uh, liquid lipsticks. I got it in the color Sand and Knock on Wood. Right now, I am wearing Sand on my lips. This is the perfect nude color for me. I'm so happy with this. This is kind of like a nudie with more of like yellowy undertones underneath it, which is everything to me. So I'm really happy that I got that one. I was kind of like not sure about the color because whenever I like test out makeup I only swatch it on the back of my hand never on my lips because I don't want any crazy diseases from any other nasty bitch that was in front of me so that is why I always do it on the back of my hand but then I'm never really sure if the color would look good on me so it's always still kind of like a risk when buying it so yeah but I'm really happy with this and now I'm going to be swatching for you knock on wood which will look like this that's really pretty too it's kind of like more of a darker nude uh, which I think would look really pretty when going to something like any day. What am I even talking about? It looks pretty all the time. And then last up I got a little sample of this uh, lippy thingy. This is called Berry Cruiser. Oh, this is from Tarte. I thought it was Sephora. I don't know why. It's from Ulta. But it's like a little lip sample thing which I would just give away to someone. Because I'm not really into that much like red lippy stuff. So that is everything which I got at Ulta. So excited. <laughs> yeah. And then last up, on Sunday we went to Burbank to visit the Morphe store there. By the way, I have been added to the Morphe PR list. Yeah. <laughs> but I haven't received like my welcoming package yet because we're still waiting on a few products. But Coco is also on their PR list and she kind of like contacted them and she was like, hey, we're going to be out in LA. You know, there's a store, maybe we could visit. And they were like, yeah, for sure. When you're there, just have them give us a call. They did, and we got 50% of everything Morphe in the store, which was so mind-blowing to me. I was so excited, um, especially because I wasn't on their PR list. I got to pick up so many fun products, you guys. And I also still want to show this, even though we got 50% off and we're so lucky and grateful for that. I figured, why not still show it? Because, yeah. First off... <laughs> Like, this is going to be a whole lot, you guys. I'm so sure. First off, I got three of these makeup sponges from Morphe. One is for my very good friend, Malika. So that one is for her. But I got two for myself just because I figured if I really liked it, I would like a backup. 
You see what I did there? And so yeah, these are like these two makeup sponges. They're $7 each, I believe, from the top of my head. Which I think is a really good price because I really like beauty blenders. But like 20 euros for a freaking beauty blender, that is so expensive. So I figured why not test these ones out so I have something to recommend to you guys that is a lot more affordable than 21 euros for a beauty blender. When I was in the store, I was kind of like not sure which one I wanted to buy because they also had like Jeffree Star. So I was kind of like wondering if I should get like their highlighter in Siberian Gold, I believe it was called. They also still had like uh, the palette with that guy. I don't know the name, but like the Baby in Paradise highlighting palette. But there were like also a lot of dark colors in there. Like I swatched them and I figured I would only use like one or two and the second one would be too dark. Which I would have to mix with the lightest color again. So I was like kind of not sure. But then I saw this one and this is the Morphe High Impact Highlighter in Extra. Gosh. <laughs> so I got this one just because I thought this would be like spending my money on something which I will actually use all of the time. Which is good. Um, so yeah, this one also is so pretty. That is crazy. Let me swatch it also for you guys right here. Oof. Can you see it? Nah, I think I'm too pale. But believe me, it's pretty. Next up, I got the Morphe Blushing Babes Pop of Coral Blush Trio. I really like coral blushes. I never really wear much blush, but I always get like the comments on my Instagram like, Wear blush, we need some more color on your face. So I figured, let's just get a blush too, make the people happy, give the people what they want. So this is what it looks like if you're as pure as I am and you also don't really like wearing blushes, try a coral one because they really complement fair skin the best in my opinion. My opinion. Uh, but I really like these ones, if you can see like this outer color and this one. Those, yeah, those scream my name. So I'm really happy with this. Next up, I also got two lip liners, and um, these ones are in all oh, these names, you guys. Oh. <laughs> in Spiffy, Spiffy, yeah, in Love Bite. That is like a more normal name. Get some more normal names for your product. These lip liners are also really nice, and they're like three dollars or something. If they will ever come out, yay! really excited about those i really like using lip liners because i can always kind of like over my lips with them because your girl doesn't have any lip fillers but we want some so we fake them here first up i have love bite Ooh, look at me going swatching queen and then next up we have that color called spiffy which is somewhat more brown toned you guys, this one is like more pinkish tones and this one is like more towards like a true brown. Um, and I really like this color to line my lips with because I always line my lips with a bit of a darker color. And then a more darker color on the outside of my mouth. And that way you get really, really big lips. And you don't have to pay 300 euros for lip fillers. Oh, I got another lip liner. Just kidding. Haha. <laughs> I also got Sweet Pea. Let me show you what this one looks like. Like getting these out of the packaging. Yeah, finally. So this is the color Sweet Pea, which is more like, yeah, it's even darker, but it's also like more towards like yellow compared to the other colors. But this one is really pretty as well to line my lips with whenever I'm wearing something nude like today. I could have lined my lips with this color and that way they would have looked like much fuller than they are now. Next up, I also got two lipsticks. I got the Morphe lipstick in Boo and in Honey. Like, these are names I can't pronounce. I feel so smart. <laughs> so, Boo is a really pretty color, and I also really like the packaging of this. This is so cool. Like, so futuristic. So, here we got Boo, which screams my name. I really like these colors. Really, really like them. This one kind of, like, reminds me of, like, the Mac and Alia collection. Like, the Brooklyn Born, I believe that's called. That is also, like, more of, like, a yellowy nude color. Which I think is so pretty. And then we got the color Honey. I will switch right here. Which is somewhat darker and it has some more pinkish tones to them. But also once again so pretty. And they're really creamy as well. When I swatched them they were so creamy. So I think that if you're also struggling with your dry lips you will also really like those. So I also got two liquid lipsticks. This is the one in the shade called Taunt. 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 And I got the one in True Story. 
Uh, let me just swatch these ones for you guys too. So first up here we got True Story. Which looks like that, I think. Whoa, these two look similar, you guys. Now this one is like more darker orange tones. But still, they're really similar. I didn't notice that when I bought them. And then this is the one in Taunt. I can't pronounce that word like I'm a person. Why? And this one was more like a pinkish nude. And then I also got three lip glosses. I have the one in shade Groupie. It's just like more of like a pinkish uh, lip gloss, as you can see. But like, you need to see it like on top of like another color. I think this one would look like pretty when it's kind of like matched. And it has like gold reflex and that like always gets me in a lip gloss. And next up we have Shimmer, which is so extremely pretty. I'm so in love with this one. This is also like somewhat more pink, but it has like these cool golden reflect tones. Let's watch it here. I'm looking on my monitor and everything is like backwards. <sighs> this one here, it's so pretty. And then last up here, I have Solo Artist, which was like separate from the display. And when I was kind of making my last round, I ran into it and I was like, you're coming home with me, girl. This is so pretty. This is like one of those nude glasses, but it has like gold undertones, gold reflexes and this will just go over pretty much anything so if you're kind of like looking to get into the world of lip glosses I highly recommend getting something like this just so you can kind of like pair it with everything like every lip combo which you make so you get the most use out of it and you kind of like get to experiment with it from there on and now we are on to brushes let me just tell you this in my life i could never ever have too many blending brushes i use them like crazy whenever i'm doing my own makeup um, i can probably use like 17 different ones of them just because i love building up my crease with so many different eyeshadows i love it so much so that is why i stacked up on a whole lot of blending brushes but also some others here i have the m153 this is like this little packer eyeshadow brush which I believe was like $2, so with the 50% it was only like $1. And these ones are really nice whenever I wear like my highlighting shade on my eyelids like I have today. These are really nice then just kind of like pack on the color. Let me see. I also got the um, M509. This is kind of like a soft diffuse brush for if you have like your contouring a bit more blended out or anything. really like these soft brushes, so I picked one of these ones up. And I also picked up the uh, Morphe 510. This will be such a good highlighting brush, I think. Um, so I'm really excited to use this one as well. And now onto the crazy amount of blending brushes. Um, I picked up two of these M562, which are the really, really small blending brushes. They're the tiniest blending brushes I've probably ever seen in my life. I think these ones would be like so good if you're one of those people who does like, if you have like, two colors in your crease you first apply like the darkest one and then you blend it out with the second one i think that these ones would be so good for that let me kind of like find pairs which one is this is the m518 and i also got the m5418 big blending brushes love them could never have enough of them like i got so many blending brushes i can't even see the difference between them anymore yeah that is how bad it is I need to sort these ones. This is this is just too much. Okay, I have them sorted. Now I can grab them more easily. I got two of these um, Morphe Y16 brushes, blending brushes. And I felt that like the gold was really pretty. So I got these ones. I also got two of the Morphe uh, M514 blending brushes. Again, somewhat smaller. They kind of like reminded me of the Sigma small taper blending brushes which I really, really like to use for like underneath my eyes and especially in this part where I want to connect like the top winged eyeshadow with the bottom. So I really like these ones. I uh, got one uh, M513 brush. Don't know why I got one, but I did. And I think this is where we kind of get mixed up. I got three of the uh, M333 brushes, which are once again, just like your regular blending brushes. I don't think there's like a whole lot of difference between some of these other blending brushes, but I just can't ever get enough of them and then last up i got two of the m441 brushes which are once again big blending brushes 
I can't make any more of it, you guys, but I just love blending brushes. <laughs> And that, you guys, included everything which I bought in LA. I also got the biggest, biggest goodie bag from NYX Professional Makeup. But if I'm going to have to go through it, it's in the video as well. And I didn't really buy it. It is going to be the longest video ever. But NYX Professional Makeup, thank you so much for gifting all of those products to me. You will definitely be seeing some of them back in my tutorials. And if you guys like want a video on that as well, just let me know. I can always make one of them. But I don't know if it's like showing off like the products which I got from free would like really be beneficial to you guys because I think that you will be more interested in things which I will purposely like put my money in if you get what I mean so that is everything which I bought I am so extremely happy to have been able to go out to LA and get these products um, I have so much new makeup to play with you guys I'm so happy with it so yeah if you like these videos please let me know just like a little disclaimer this is in no way me bragging or wanted to show off all of the products which I bought and this is just for fun and I figured why not so let me know you guys if you want any like specific videos with these products like I would totally be open to that let me know I will be so happy to make one of those videos if that will be like educational to you just let me know and with all of that being said I will list all of my uh, social media handles down below along with all of the products which is going to be so much work so definitely check that out like there goes a lot of time into that one. Do it. Just just click on, on something, anything. That will make me feel really good. <laughs> so thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch me and watch my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have the best time. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye bye.